Welcome back. Well, you're ready to jump into the real estate market, whether it's your first time to buy a home or maybe looking to improve the process the next time around. Victoria Tyson is here. She's a real estate agent with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Premier Properties to talk about the five things buyers must know before buying a home. Welcome back to the show. Good to see you. Thank you. It's great to be back. So if I'm out looking, what's the first and most important thing I should know? So many buyers are looking for the perfect home, but that's almost impossible to find. There's paint, little changes, cabinet pulls, things like that that are easy to change that some buyers get hung up on. So reminding them not to, to fret about those things. Those are changeable and even little things that can come up on the inspection. Little changes that are easy to fix, cheap to fix that you should not stress about. Even new construction homes can have issues. So don't worry, everything's negotiable. <laughs> we can figure it out as we come to it. Speaking of new construction, what are some suggestions that I'm looking for, like a specific neighborhood, things of that nature? Choosing a neighborhood is huge. Understandably, it's a huge commitment. And so a lot of buyers decide based on a school district. But what people don't know sometimes, new buyers, of course, they wouldn't know what they don't know, mm -hmm. is that the school district boundaries can change. So while it might work for you that time, deciding based upon that, remember that those can change in the future. So what I really like to suggest is driving around those neighborhoods at different times of day, different noise levels, traffic levels that you might not realize if you're visiting the same time every time. Very good suggestion. Let's talk about this pre-approval process we hear so much about. When's the best time to get that done? Get it done beforehand. It really helps us budget things to, you know, setting a price range of where to look, how to factor in special assessments, which are huge these days, really big concern, taxes, um, things like that that can change in the future. So getting your payment where <clears throat> if it were to increase, you can still handle that. So get pre-approved first. We can also send that letter with your offer to the sellers, which really shows that you're a serious buyer. You talked about um, taxes changing, interest rates obviously change as well. A lot yeah. of people are saying, hey, these things are gonna be going up. What can I be doing to get the best deal? Those interest rates really are creeping up. And so a lot of buyers don't know that, say they have a checking account with a certain bank. They might think that bank will give them the best deal on their mortgage. However, that's not always the case. So shop around, look for those different interest rates, different programs. Some lenders offer different down payment assistance programs. Some will even buy your student loans, hold them for a very low interest rate. So you'll get different, different deals at different places. So shop around. If you don't have a lender, call me. I can suggest some great lenders to you. So I'm looking to find a place that fits within my budget. Do I just go online and start using like some of these mortgage calculators or what's your suggestion? Those can be convenient at the time, <laughs> but they're not very accurate. They don't put into account things like daycare costs, living expenses that are specific to you. So get in front of a lender, a specific lender, a local lender is really great mm -hmm. because they know our market. So get in front of them, they'll put everything into account and even things like home value estimates online that doesn't mean that's what the home will go for or what you should offer. So contact me and we can pull comparables and find what you should offer or what you might get that home for. Great so stuff. Step away from the computer. Yes. It's tough these days. Do the face-to-face -face thing. It'll right. be worth it. So thank you for being here. We can bring her graphic up one more time, please, on how you can best contact her. Uh, there's her phone number. And you can get a hold of Victoria Tyson by doing that. Stay with us much more coming up.